All right, well, at least that was happening in the morning because, yes. boy, it really got hot today. And I, I feel bad for, you know, tourists who might come to visit and may <laughs> underestimate. Okay, it says it's 95 degrees out, but it doesn't feel like mm -mm. 95. Maggie, it, it feels so right. way hotter out there. You are yeah. so right about that. And really, that's the key and why we have likely some advisories going to be in place this week. So let's get straight to the work so you know what you need to prepare for. And it's just going to be the heat, back-to-back -back heat. Right now, it's 91 degrees. Winds are helping us out a little bit from the southeast, 15 miles an hour gust up to about 20 today. But here's that dew point, 69. Listen, I thought we were getting lucky with the 66 earlier, but it's only going to continue to climb and climb into our date tomorrow. It's going to be hot. It's going to be humid. And like Alicia was just talking about, that's when we start to factor in the heat index. So those feels like temperatures. It's going to feel way hotter than that. We're working our way to triple digits tomorrow, but not yet. Let's get to where we are for the next six hours. If you're staying out late, number one, be careful out there, y'all. But number two, just know it's still going to be toasty. 80 still at 3 a.m. I'm going to be snoozing at that hour for sure. And let's talk about those tours that they were just talking about on the desk, right? Because it is the hottest time of year here for San Antonio. Really, July 30th through August 16th is noted as the hottest time of the year, but this year is certainly no exception either. All right, this might be a bit confusing, but follow me on this. So we're going to be close to record heat tomorrow and really through next week as well, because 101 will be our actual air temperature out there. But the record was actually last year, 106. We're super close to it. I don't think we're going to surpass that, but we will likely probably have some advisories in place. We didn't have one today, but if you are headed towards Houston, Victoria, or have family there, make sure they drink plenty of water too, because today through Tuesday, and let's go ahead and add on Wednesday to that too, between noon and 7 p.m. Those impacts are going to be pretty high, guys. 105 to 110 is what it'll feel like out there, so you need to limit your time outdoors for sure. Everything here is because of this, the high pressure system that continues to dominate this August, and it's going to round us out this August, too. We do have a little bit of a front to look forward to, but not today or tomorrow. In fact, for a future cast, we've just got clouds rolling in, then right back out. Temperature is going right back up. We're working our way up to triple digits. You saw it, guys, 101 tomorrow afternoon between 4 and 5 p.m. Those will be the peak temperatures for the day. I like to always check in with our drought monitor, too, because we're in that moderate category for San Antonio. That's big thanks to the rain we got this past July. But for the next seven days, things are not looking good. Less than a tenth of an inch here for San Antonio up into Kerrville or over towards Victoria, but it's very slim. Here's when we could see some things, guys. Well, we already know this today all the way through Wednesday. We've got weather impact alert days. Everything you see in that red color there again, it's not to scare you just to make sure you drink plenty of water and take extra precautions. OK, second part of that 14 day forecast. There's a tiny little bit of rain chance, right? 20% chance on Sunday and Monday. That's looking way ahead. But regardless, we're going to cool off a little bit. I guess I can't believe I'm saying 94 is cooling off, but we're right back to triple digits directly after that. Now over to sports.